Hello guys! Mabuhay! How are you? I am Dave from the Philippines. And for this vlog, let's talk about the recently concluded Miss Universe pageant. So what are your thoughts about the pageant? Did your representatives or your did your representatives or bets make it to the top 16? Are you satisfied with the results? Well, me, um, you can just comment down below your thoughts, alright? Me, I'm really happy. I'm very much happy. I'm very much satisfied with the results. I am very much happy with India winning their third Miss Universe crown this year. Very well deserved. Alright. Um, from start to finish, she had that winning aura. Actually, her movements, I mean, the expressions of her face, the way, you know, she played around, she played around. She, the way she projected in front of the camera, she reminded me of Pia Wurzbach. All right, she knows when to, you know, to, to smile, to twirl, and to, you know, smile. Really, Miss India, a goddess. She's a goddess, and I'm also happy with Paraguay, um, being the first runner up, because these two, India and Paraguay, um, they have been the faces of the competition, and they can walk really well. They can perform on stage, really. Well, so I'm very much satisfied with the final two. Just, you know, we have super beauties in the final two. And of course, as a Filipino, I'm really proud of Miss Philippines, Bea Comes, for, you know, raising our flags, okay? And Bea, actually, Bea really surprised us. For sure, it's not, it's not just me, okay? Because Bea has been really calm, you know, um, this year, I guess, um, generally, the Miss Universe pageant or um, the Philippine candidate is not that hyped. Um, not that hyped as compared to the previous editions. Alright? Um, is, is it just me or are we thinking the same? Okay, but Beatrice is a silent killer. Alright, she made it to the top 16. She made it to the top 10 and to the top and for me, she she had one of the, you know, both South Africa and Miss Philippines in the top five. They had the best answers to the questions. Okay, so I was also surprised she didn't make it to the top three. But again, this is a big, um, this is really a big um, achievement for the Philippines. Thank you, Beatrice, for bringing the Philippines back in the top five. Thank you. Mahal kita. And of course, this year, there have been a lot of surprises, okay? So what is the biggest surprise for you? So this year, powerhouses. There were powerhouses who didn't make it to the top 16, who missed, you know, the cut. So we have Venezuela. We have Venezuela. Um, we have, actually, I thought Philippines wouldn't be called in the top 16, <laughs> <laughs> because um there were there were um other pa powerhouses left like Venezuela there were powerhouses left like Venezuela um, Mexico Brazil Spain who weren't called and I was surprised also that uh, you know Spain she was one of the standouts in the beginning of the competition she didn't make it to the top sixteen and of course we have Thailand Thailand who who you know who showed strong performances in the recent years um she did she didn't make it to the top 16 and of course it's refreshing and it's you know it's refreshing i'm happy to see um countries with wick miss universe sashes you know penetrating the top 16 like the bahamas um singapore i'm really happy that singapore made it to the top 16 and of course miss vietnam very well deserved um placement Miss Vietnam. I actually thought that Miss Vietnam was going to make it to the um to the top ten. I was surprised she was excluded. Okay, I was surprised she was excluded because in this batch, um, if not in Asia, I love Beatrice, but in this batch, if not um if not if not India, um, Vietnam showed you know the most solid performance from the Asian continent. Okay. Like, I I was I was blown away. Well, I was blown away by her performance in both um swimsuit and evening gown in the prelims. 
but of course um i'm happy that singapore vietnam and philippines made it to the top 16. i was just watching last week um their video in the bedroom you know eating eating noodles and was going live on instagram live i think and now real quick they they were part of the top 16 um semi-finalist asian sisters i'm also happy to see japan in the final 16. so okay so in the entire competition really um i really saw india i saw the winning aura um in india okay like she performed to win she performed to win and it's a well-deserved win last year um i mean earlier this year miss for miss universe 2020 actually my bet was also miss india and i'm so happy that finally they got their crown this year so in the top five we have colombia we have South Africa, Paraguay, who's really beautiful, Paraguay, um, Philippines, and India. And to be honest, guys, generally, um, the questions were a bit underwhelming because I keep on comparing the questions to the, you know, questions of the previous editions. And the answers were also a bit underwhelming as compared to the answers of the girls from the previous editions. But... Uh, Again, I'm really satisfied with the results, and I'm sure, I'm sure, um, Miss India will give us an exciting, an exciting year, as you know, for us Miss Universe fans. So that's it for this vlog. Again, if you have thoughts, you can just comment down below. And uh, the next pageant, I guess it's Miss World. So for pageant fans. Hello for fat for pageant fans is the pageant season. I hope you get to sleep. I hope to get to I hope you get to sleep because um for sure um you've been following you know this pageant ever since last month up to this month and uh, that's it. I'm excited for um the Miss World as well and I'm excited for the 2021 you know local pageant. So are we? Who are we gonna send to the Miss Universe competition? Because the Philippines, you know, we have the longest streak in the Miss Universe history. We have 12 years, you know, placement streak in the Miss Universe pageant. And I'm so happy. So I can't wait um, who will be, you know, the next Miss Universe Philippines. So thank you guys. Mabuhay.